In this ukulele video, we're going to go over the Koloha Tenor Ukulele KTM 00. This is a ukulele review. <sighs> this one, damn. I actually didn't notice it when I first got out of the box, but when I was getting it out ready for this review, man, this thing is amazing. This one is called Fire Woman. <laughs> Fire Woman. By the way, since you're here, appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 100,000. I know we're about halfway there. So I guess 50,000 first and then 100,000, but that's our goal. And uh, make sure you turn on that bell notification. That way you stay up to date with all the tutorials and reviews. <laughs> that's it, reviews that we do here with the ukulele, guitar lele, and the baritone. So, uh, you know, I get a lot of ukuleles and I get a lot of kolohas. This is in a batch of six that I just got in. Um, one's already gone. I didn't even have to do a video for it. Um, but uh, this one, wow. This one is really special. If you like this one, based off the video, what you see, what you hear, this one is available at store.ukelikethepros.com. And you can just follow the link below or just go there and type in Fire Woman. All right, we're gonna do some playing. I'm gonna go over this thing. I'll show you the, the whole thing in the back and uh, we'll go from there, all right? just a little Hawaiian strum and why shouldn't we handmade in Hawaii also solid cool wood 25 years of experiences this is what you work up to now some people like to start on these but and I gotta say yes <laughs> yes to that if you're a beginner and you want to start on the right path trust me your playing is gonna be so much better on this instrument it's easier to play the action's great, it sounds amazing, and you're just gonna feel the quality when you hold an instrument like that versus when you hold something that's a little bit cheaper. So anyway, bravo to you if you're a beginner and just wanna jump into the best. All right, uh, by the way, it'd be cool, <laughs> trying to ask, uh, if you left a comment below, be part of the Ukulele the Pros community, let me know, do you have a Koloha? Do you want a Koloha? Uh, do you like this Koloha? Um, the way it looks, the way it sounds, all that kind of stuff. So uh, leave a comment below. And then also check some of the other comments. Maybe you can help somebody else out that is asking a question and could use your assistance. So that would be cool as well. All right, we got a solid Koa. Look at this. I mean, it's probably hard to tell in this video, but just when I'm looking at this thing, it has so many different color variations in it. And it has this flame, notice Fire Woman. It has this flame, you gotta kinda like look at the right angle, the right light, and see some of this, this cross flame that you see. Here's a little bit of it right here. It's really, really beautiful. Solid top, Night. I mean, just everything about this thing. Look at the sides, really nice, solid sides. Just a gorgeous back, and again, the, the colors there's so many colors here. I hope the video picks it up, but if not, trust me, when you get this thing and you look at it in the light, it just is absolutely stunning. Look at this, this will help a little bit. Just look at that wood grain, look at those colors, and the top too, that's just, wow. I'm telling you, I get a lot of ukuleles in, and there's always some that just really stand out to me. Not that they're better or worse, it's just, you know, sometimes a, a certain one will talk to you, like this one. All right, let me do a little playing here. That's my song, In the Mist. We had a challenge a ways back that we gave away a Koloha for that one particular thing right there, that In the Mist challenge. So 
All right, let's go over the rest of this. We had a solid mahogany neck. This does have a, a high gloss on the whole thing. You have the gear tuners. You have the Koloha crown. You have the abalone Koloha logo. You got the 17 inch scale, not the saddle. Ebony fretboard, abalone fret markers, Masabi, whoops, Masabi patented sound hole. And by the way, this is one of the new models. I don't know how long they'll be saying that, but simply what they did is they moved the neck down, not the neck, they moved the fretboard down about an inch, moved the bridge back about an inch. What that did is just, just the instrument now has a little bit more clarity, a little bit more crispness. Those are the major things that I notice with the two differences. All right. Um, you collect the pros advantage, all right? So we're gonna take care of you here at You Collect the Pros. Um, one, well, what's one? One, I'm gonna help you get better at this instrument. So no matter what level you are, you're gonna get three months of my free premium membership. That's access to the entire site, or, and, something, or you get everything, and the weekly Q and A's that we do for ukulele, baritone, and guitar, those are one-on-one. -on -one calls with me, well, not one-on-one, -on -one, with other members as well. Very cool. Those are all recorded as well and uh, available to you to rewatch. Um, you get a hard shell case, $100 value, the real deal, hard shell case. Trust me, when you see it, you're going to be stoked when you get it. Um, this thing's set up, ready to go. Sounds beautiful, sounds amazing. And uh, the case candy, I'm going to throw in some bonuses for you as well. Now, you get the lifetime Koloha warranty all Kolo. You don't need to register. Don't worry about, you don't need a serial number. You don't need to register. It, it's just automatic. They've been in business 25 years, but you do want to get a humidifier with this. So get a Bovetta. The one I have Bovetta's here in the store. I have the Oasis in the store. Get one of those. The Oasis is renewable. I mean, you can add water to it. The Bovetta's you got to uh, change out every two or four months, depending on where you live. They're both great. The Bovetas are cool because they actually humidify and then they actually suck up if there's too much moisture. And then the Oasis are just great, again, because you can reuse them. So add that. It will also help you if you ever have a warranty claim. You can say, yes, I do have a humidifier. So a right, little, little side note that I've been pushing a little bit more lately. Um, the little investment of a humidifier is well worth it when you're buying an ukulele like this. All right, let me do one more thing of playing and then I'll give you a few more uh, options here. <laughs> sustain absolutely incredible on these Koloha. so anyway thanks for being here thanks for being part of the ukulele to post community subscribing leaving a comment really appreciate it um don't forget this is a Koloha tenor ukulele ktm 00 this one i called firewoman <laughs> you can tell you why right that absolutely gorgeous one this one you can pick up at my store.ukulele2pros.com and uh we'll see you next time